Hello and welcome back to EverQuest. Today we're continuing our solo self-found shaman. Alright, and we're pretty much where we left off uh, last episode. I camped up here on Lotus Zone Wall. I did some uh, research on spells and it looks like we get a Frost Nuke, Frost Rift at level 4. So we're gonna, we are just just hit level three so let's see if we can uh get level four and then go buy some spells real quick all right what do we got here we got a green snake let's go ahead and pull that i don't know i like third person sometimes and then i like first person other times it's uh really depends all right there's the Okay, book. We're not gonna go there. There's a frog lock. So these drop the mesh armor, which is a uh, I think it's itemized from the upper guck item uh, items. So I I'm not sure uh, if it's supposed to drop that. I can't remember from the last time I played uh played live, but. We did get that mesh mantle worth one platinum, so that is uh, something nice. And I noticed there was a quest for uh, Froglock skin to turn into the uh, four of them to the Shaman Guildmaster, and you get a a spell and uh, some money. So we're gonna if we can get four of those, we'll try to try to do the that quest. But yeah, now we got a little bit of a little bit of leveling on uh, some of these things. Now they're a little bit easier to kill, which is uh, pretty nice. And I mean, <laughs> even with the experience bonus, it's still pretty slow. So, could be about a probably a hundred mobs to level. But then for some reason, I don't know how the math works out. Once you get to like 46, leveling becomes really quick. I don't know why. Oh, and he's gonna auto med because uh, macro quest. We got some large cloth sandals. And uh, I know there's a quest for the lizard meat. You can turn that into the, uh, I believe, warrior or shadow knight guild and uh get a, a weapon and uh something else i think gold but the issue with that is, is it makes you uh lowers your faction with the warrior or the uh shadow knight guild and i believe the guards are on that faction so you kind of like get yourself killed if you pick the wrong one not my not my idea of fun but uh we're gonna keep killing these guys oh i got two of them come on and we get more of these uh talons and some that oh another one I'm not sure what happened, but all the mobs decided to show up today. Come on. Got a snake to kill. Got a netted choker worth one gold. Uh, looks like we can wear that. No real value in that, though. And uh, skeletons usually drop coin. I believe uh, this is a decaying skeleton, so he might drop some bone chips and some coin. Yep, bone chips. Typically, if you're on a real server, bone chips are actually worth a lot. I think you can sell them for like one platinum each on some servers. But uh, since uh, we're doing self found, oh jeez, that is death. We're gonna run away from that. Um. 
So I found if you hold down W and D and go at a like angle like this, you can outrun a lot of things. <laughs> ah, get stuck on a thing. Need to run because I don't think we can kill all of that stuff. Come on. I don't even know what we got. We got two of them. Yeah, that spider. Spider's yellow. I don't know. I'm not in a yellow. Uh, he's, uh, he's uh, blue. I thought he was yellow. Pull this over here so I can see it easier. All right, we got that one down. There we go. All right. We got some dark colored fungus and broken lizard talon. All right, let's med up real quick. Yeah, so this is this is going pretty good. We're at uh almost fifty percent into level three. Forty percent exactly. Uh, do we get any skill ups recently? Uh, let's see here, we got nothing there. <laughs> uh, channeling is up there, it's almost max. So is the evocation. Uh, meditate's getting there. Swimming, I think it you start out at 100 swimming, so it gives you points in that automatically. Our offense and defense are not great, but getting there. Do we need to sell? Yes, we do. Uh, let's keep flesh. I think that's the flesh I can do that for this turn. I think that spells worth the gold. So let's uh, let's just manually sell. Since everything is uh, not in a bag. If you hold down, sh ah. yeah, we're running from this one. If you hold down shift while you're selling. Um, the um, the whole stack will sell, so it kind of saves a lot of time. You don't have to deal with that pop up uh, pop up counter to decide how many items to sell. So let's see if we can uh, get these guards to kill this bear for us, maybe. Yeah. Good guards. All right. Uh, let's go over to this little village area and sell the rest of the stuff. We got uh, bone chips won't sell, so let's keep those there. I have, <laughs> I have that as a uh, skipped item. Oh, is she not a vendor? No, she's not. Is he gonna run all the way over there? That's hilarious. <laughs> so I guess uh, it's detecting. Oh, it stopped. I was thinking it would detect uh, where he was in the zone, but I guess not. Just that I had him targeted or something. I don't know. Can I not sell that? There we go. That was on my list. Okay, perfect. Does he sell backpacks? Oh. So someone told me it's just they're a platinum each. That's the same as a uh on one of my videos I got a comment about mixing bowls being uh as good as uh the deluxe toolboxes, but it looks like they're the same price. So I'll wait on that. Uh okay. We're full everything. Let's keep uh let's keep going here. We are gonna try it now in this area. Pretty soon we'll be able to take these camps. Probably when we get that new nuke at level four, maybe we can try that. I don't know how how that's gonna go. I think it's like three mobs and you have to they're not solo pullable. Hmm. Now we don't see anything. It's kind of funny. Uh, 
Uh, nothing over there. Huh. Let's keep going over this way then. Oh, there's a uh, decaying skeleton and a lizard man. Let's see if we can kill the decaying skeleton before the lizard man attacks. Come on, smash him. There we go. More scales, or bone chips. And I'll probably just keep those bone chips for fun. At 60, I'll give them to my one of my necromancers. Oh, we got two of them. I actually wonder if they could sell to a vendor. I think they're marked as a quest item, so I don't know if you can even sell them. Might be more beneficial than hanging on to them, just to sell them. Alright, we're going to have to f turn off this auto med stuff, it's kind of annoying. Let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, we got one right behind us, too. Yeah, I like... Oh my god. Just attack. Yeah, I gotta figure out uh, how to disable his auto-medding without <laughs> messing up the config for all my other characters. Come on. Smash the lizard man. There we go. Oh, white lizard scale. And I think there's like newbie quests that you can do that use these scales to make armor. And uh it's actually really good armor, I believe. Like it's better than it's better than the uh totomic armor, I believe. If I Thinking of the same stuff. I think I did it on uh, the Agnar with my uh, one of my characters there, but it was like really overpowered armor for the time. Ooh, this guy hit hard. Was that a ten? Yeah, we are, what, 54% in? Yeah, but this is, uh, I don't know why, but it's just so fun to me. Yeah, slam got him, stunned him for a second. Uh, can I, yeah, let me loot. There we go, get some spider legs. Uh, there's two bears, both are yellow. We're gonna get away from them. Uh, we got a little lizard man right here. Let's see if we can smash him. Of course, because you keep sitting, uh, that off. That should, no, nope, that does not. There. Let's, uh, find a place I can sit for a second. Fix that. There's way too many mobs around here to not get smashed. Ooh, we're getting him. Come on, stop sitting. There we go, got him. Let's see if I can pull up his config real quick. Open. There we go. And 
no, there's no auto med. Um, where's advanced settings, general settings? Oh, there it goes. Uh, in med break and combat on, yeah. Auto med break. No, I can't just disable it. It's automatic when you're under uh, a certain percentage. I guess I could put it to uh, zero percent or something like that. That might work. But he's like sitting, like while I'm trying to do stuff. Let's do this and Mac. That should that should have solved it right there. I should turn off the macro. I don't know where my macro quest window went. Yeah, macro ended. Okay, so he's not going to do anything now. Which uh, I'm okay with. I was going to just use it for uh, auto buffing, but uh, I think I can just manually do it. Ooh, large cloth cape. We are looking dapper now. Well, I guess you can't see the cape, but we're getting there. <laughs> we're going to get a full set of this stuff soon, I guess. All right. I don't know why sound effects are not working. Sound realism is 5%. Sound volume. Let's turn that up just a little bit. Because I want to hear the more stuff. There we go. That's a little louder. There, you can hear my footsteps now. I'll probably have to turn it down again. I think the sound realism is what what uh controls that. I typically have it all the way down. Cause uh you have fifty four characters sitting on top of you, it's uh Lots of random noises for all the different things. Man, well, that didn't give me the new sounds. Oh gosh, three of them. Four. Oh. Could be, uh. We could be seeing the end here. Now, a lizard man will not run if there is somebody around also attacking you. So if he's got a buddy, he won't run. This one, since there's no one around, he is going to probably try to run. Yep. Wow, four mobs and we didn't level up. Here, it looks like we're almost one, one mob away. And the bat, I guess, had no loot. Alright, well, that is... Let's uh, use our mana and uh, heal up. We need to get our alteration skill up a little bit, too. What is this guy? He is even con. I think we'll try him. If we can, you know. There he is. Attack on. Ooh, he hits for 10. Alright. I can see right down here. We are winning. So I can move this. Custom target window that comes with uh, the map that I install. You have to manually move it to the uh, folder, but it. It lets you see buffs and stuff without getting all these leadership points and stuff that they ruined the game by adding. <laughs> all right, so we are level four, and uh, we're gonna go by. I think Frost Rift is what the spell's called. That should let us do a lot more uh, nuking damage. 
our first uh, dot or damage over time spell is not available until level 8, I believe. And we're going to have to go to uh, Inothul Swamp to get that spell, I, I think. I don't think it's available here in Agak. Ag. Agak? I don't know how it's, how it's pronounced, but I don't think it's available in this town. And Inothul Swamp is over here, so it's quite a journey. And uh, I'd like to actually get level 9 before then. So I can get Spirit of Wolf, so I can run a little faster. Typically with Spirit of Wolf, you can outrun uh, most creatures in the game. All right. So first things first, I want to talk to this guy real quick. I think he's the guy who sells backpacks. Nope, he's not. Uh, let's go ahead and sell him all this stuff so we have our money. How much are these worth? One silver each. Let's sell them. So that gives us... We have 15 gold at the moment. So, or one platinum, 15 gold. So, 15 gold is a platinum five gold so I think that's right and then that's 18 gold that's 49 silver I think that's the conversion ratio I forget all right we need to go into the shaman guild back to where we started over over here solar is the guy and we're going to pick up whatever spells we can get. Maybe some buffs we can buy. I think shamans should have those one or two buffs now that I can pick up that will uh, really benefit us. And we're going to probably want to start getting some money together to start leveling up smithing so we can make some banded armor. Uh, that'll probably be sooner than later, I would suspect. It's this way. No, it's not this way. Yeah, it's over this way. All right. Uh, I think it's like a hundred platinum to level up smithing to uh, a hundred and hundred and. 20, I think, to make banded armor. All right, not those ones. Not those ones. Uh -huh, not those ones. There's level six spells. Guildmaster. There we go. All right, let's kind of make this bigger so we can actually uh, kind of have a little more space to see things. Okay, I wanted to get, so we're level four. I want to get Frost Rift. That's only five silver. Get one of those. Um, I'm going to pick up Inner Fire. That's a hit point buff. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Cure Disease. I plan on fighting some zombies soon, so... Cure poison might be useful. Uh, summon drink, not use necessary. Summon spirit pouch, probably a bit too risky to buy. Uh, let's see. Feet like cat, that's an agility buff. And that is a strength buff. We'll go ahead and pick up that one. It might be able to hit harder and a dexterity buff. Uh, fleeting Fury, what does that one do? Oh, it's like the first Avatar style spell that just buffs a lot of melee. Let's, let's get it and try it out. It's probably not worth the mana though. Alright, let's go ahead and get these memorized. And until we get bags, I can't really use the, uh, the macro to auto scribe them 
because it cannot uh, read these inventory slots for some reason. I can only read spells and bags. So, until we can find a guy selling backpacks. I know there's like four of them in the zone. I just don't know where they're at. And this guy just randomly closes his book. I don't know why. All right, so we got Frost Rift. We'll go swap that in here. And then uh, let's see if we can memorize these other ones. So we'll get Inner Fire, which is a, uh, it's the only hit point buff that shamans get that does not stack with the cleric one. Yeah, stop doing that. That's, uh, that's annoying. Uh, Fleeting Fury, let's go ahead and put that here. Try that out. Oh, you know what? We we zoned and it turned it back on. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we got that memorized. Let's get feet like cat memorized. Come on. Strengthen. Once we get our meditate skill up, this goes significantly faster. I'm going to go ahead and save this as our main. So when we die, it will auto prescribe that. All right. So let's buff our agility. See what our, so we have 61 armor. We have 66 now. Uh, we have 130 strength, 138 now. And our dexterity is 70. And we have 78. Perfect. And our inner fire buff, which gives us a few more hit points and some armor. Let's adjust this so we can see the buffs over here. I like to put the spell or the songs over here. We're not going to ever have a bard with us, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, put those over there. So then I can kind of just hit alt and see everything. And then, da 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 da, that should be good. And oh yeah, Fleeting Fury, let's see what this does. Gives us armor. I think it raised the attack too. Gives us like 20 seconds. I'm not sure how much mana that used. Alright. So, we got our new spells, we got level 4. Now we gotta figure out how to get out of here. <laughs> how much money do we have left? We have uh, quite a bit. Let's see if we can find some backpacks real quick. I I kind of want to go with backpacks. They're probably not the most efficient over like uh, the tailoring kits because I really don't like the uh, the trade skill UI stuff that pops up every time. So I think there's a backpack guy over there. If I remember right. One of these guys, I think, might sell backpacks. Armor? No. Shields. Weapons? Weapons. Oh, medicine bag. What is... That's eight large for one platinum. That's... I think backpacks are only like six gold, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, what is that? Oh, some shoes. Oh. Oh, these are for the, uh, what you call a quest. There's a stin of Magak. Oh, here we go. Here's the bags. So a backpack is five gold. Alright, we're going to buy all our money worth of these. There we go. Definitely worth it because we will be able to fill up our bags now. 
and we can always make more money. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and end this here and then uh, met up over between the episodes and the next episode we can take on level four see what we can kill out in uh the the free rot free i always called it free rot but uh we'll uh see what we can do so uh thank you for watching and have a great day